Hey there guys, welcome back to Iceman Universe, and for today's reaction video, we're gonna watch episode 11 of Ed, Ed and Eddie season 2, and yeah, if you didn't watch my reaction to episode 10, I thought it was surprisingly a great episode, and that Shoe Ed was the best segment of out of the two, due to the fact that they were able to make, you know, Johnny's annoyance, like, probably the most hilarious he's ever been. But yeah, other than that, I'm just ready to get this reaction started. If you guys are enjoying my reaction series to Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my YouTube channel, then please show your support for the channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and ringing the bell to get notified. And if you want to watch my full-length reaction series to Ed, Ed, and Eddie on my Patreon page, then please click the link in the description below and become a member today. Now with that being said, let's get this reaction started. This is episode 11 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie season 2. Ed in a half shell. What scam are they doing? Gerbil for a day. Oh my gosh. What's your figure, Kev? Gerbil for a day, and we'll throw in this free salt lick. Limited quantity, better move fast. Let's He's not gonna do out. it. Watch it, those sweaty hands might leave print. No problem. <laughs> oh gosh. These dorks get lamer every day. This is quite possibly your most preposterous plan ever. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> Hate me! The probability of anyone falling for this lackluster stunt is zero to none, Eddie. Ooh, what's Sarah doing? <laughs> what did I do? It wasn't me, Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Quit roughing up my gerbil! <laughs> I have a ballet lesson today and Jimmy needs someone to play with. And Ed's Jimmy's new playmate. Oh, that's Can why. Take a hike, Sarah. You're not dumping the twerp on us. Uh oh, Ed. See what I got? Take care of Jimmy. You're all pulverize your stupid model. I will take care of Jimmy. Honest. Oh, wow. Uh... Sarah, I beg of you, don't eat me in this thing of lions. Don't worry, Jimmy. If these Nimrods give you any trouble, just blow this whistle. Have a good day, rotten to the core, cherished one. Yeah, that's exactly what Sarah is. <laughs> so, this kid's gonna cramp our style. So, how are the ads gonna take care of Jimmy? Perhaps Jimmy would like to play some games. Games teach children confidence and endorse socialization skills necessary for human interaction. I know that is true. Daddy, wait, stop! Oh no! Has no educational value whatsoever. What are you talking about? The build's character. Put hair on your chest. Not really. You're so Neanderthal. Dodgeball is fun, Jimmy. Just keep your eye on the. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're out, Mono Brow. Who's next, Jimmy or Double D? Hey. Wait, where'd Double D go? <laughs> hey, I have a history with this game. I have deep-rooted images, like tentacles. Straight. Oh, I'm reliving it, Eddie. Oh, come on, Double D. I got your face on it, Double D. Gym class all over again. <laughs> what? He hates <laughs> the glass. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty overly dramatic, though, no but way, real funny. Yeah, good save, Ed. Oh. Static electricity can be quite humbling, can't it, Eddie? Go Ed. That's much too far for Jimmy. A little closer, if you will. Okie dokie, Double D. Here we go, Jimmy. Your turn to hurt Eddie. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna oh, love this. God's gonna murder me. Somebody please save me. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Good shot, Jimmy. <laughs> to the town. Okay, Eddie definitely deserved that. Oh no. <laughs> Jimmy and Ed seem Looks like Jim developed a brotherly bond. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was thinking, anyways. Interesting. Why is Jimmy acting like Ed? Well, Ed yeah, like why? A mirror image in some cases. One exactly like the other? Like two peas in a pod, two humps on a camel, a dynamic duo, a pair of underwear? A Someone pair of underwear like that. One item, Eddie. I, Eddie, will take Jimmy and teach him to be the best prime cut of meat there is. Oh, I'd love to see that. Oh. Oh my gosh, so that's his punishment? He gets a wedgie? Oh 
Oh my gosh! Oh, he just couldn't bear to do it. Hey, he's gonna wedge him for that. Yep. Enough beating around the bush, Jimmy. I think you're ready for the final lesson. Let's talk cash. Oh. Games do not forge good learning skills. <laughs> sure, sure. Where was I? Cash. Always remember, if you have a lot of cash, you get to spend a lot of time with me. But how do I get more cash, Uncle Eddie? You're such a nosy little tyke. Come with Uncle Eddie. Oh, brother. Hey, Ed. Sure, sure. My yeast is rising. <laughs> what? Not loaf, Ed. <laughs> See the kids, Jimmy? They're called pigeons, and pigeons have lots of cash. Pennies from heaven, Uncle Eddie. Uh. Eddie, shame on you! You set Jimmy's expectations too high! Okay, maybe I was a little tough, but that's how my brother taught me! The only way to get it right is to get it wrong! Really? Oh, look out! Kevin is good at wienery! <laughs> Time's up, Kevin! That couldn't have been more than 25 seconds! Take it to the back of the line, Bob! Oh, wow! Cough up the dough! How come we didn't think of that? <laughs> <laughs> Master. What better? You got 25 seconds, Rafi boy. Has anyone ever told you your hair resembles the backside of a chicken? Does it? Chip off the old block, Junior. Tell me about the design. <laughs> the bounty mat with some old worn bed sheets sewn together with synthetic hair of broken doggy. I would never have thought of Wow. It. Come here for a second, Junior. Time to give credit where credit is due. Hit the road. Oh. You thankless little. You'd be planting posies. Tell it to the judge. Oh. <laughs> Give me that thing, you little turncoat. <laughs> He's gonna blow the whistle. I just know it. It's mine. Oh Jimmy's gosh. Alive. He's a wild animal. Ball offside. You sound like a referee, Ed. <gasps> no. Ed, don't blow that. Ed has the whistle. No. Oh no. Sarah, we're talking business. They made me eat dirt all day. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Who are you gonna believe? That little um rat or an honest bunch like us? I think we all know the answer. My die, please, Uncle Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full, Ed. <laughs> mirror mirror on the head. Okay. Hey, snail boy, move it, will ya? What the? Eddie, stop! I got a soccer guy! If you bump into me one more... <laughs> oh, gosh. Come back, Ed! I can jump it, guys! No, Ed! Yeah. Now what? Can I think? No! <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they're playing spin the bottle. Nice. It's my turn. Luck be a lady tonight. Right. Truth or dare? <gasps> I dare you to skip your turn. What? Darn it. What a sap. I dare you. What's the word, Double D? Well, frankly, Eddie, I'm concerned. The lean is much too steep for the span. Oh, what wow. Let <laughs> rip it. Raving. Whoa. What a slingshot. Buzz, buzz, buzz off, Johnny. Buzz, buzz Oh. You shouldn't have dared Johnny to buzz off, Kevin. Are those the better check your wallet, Ed Bowie? Oh, great. Truth or dare? I love this game. I gotta warn you, I'm a pro at this. <laughs> Up, they gone. And that's not surprising. Their social skills are deplorable. Okay, my turn to spin! <laughs> Ed! Eddie? Truth or dare? Dare, Ed. I dare you, Eddie, to sprout the wings of a bat and stomp like a zombie. A whistling, roll, 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 you're both doing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I am a reasonable dare. I dare Eddie to be double D. Oh. Eddie act like me? <laughs> Who Ed? You blew your chance to- You know, Eddie, it could be quite intriguing. Let's see. Where do I start? <laughs> the wind conditions are absurd. The lean is too steep for the fat. <laughs> this is getting good. Oh. Very good, Eddie. That was really good. Can we resume? 
home playing. Go, dear. I dare you to be Ed. <laughs> what? Flatter him. But only if Ed will be Eddie. I can do Eddie. I practiced. <laughs> can it? Double <laughs> seen so far watching this show I need to see it again Does not fit Eddie Ed. Oh my gosh. Parched. The word you're looking for is parched. Yeah, right, Luffy. <laughs> Intriguing. You are not Ed. You have my raspberry with tiny teeth. You know what they say, Double D. Kids will pay big money to write a blip. <laughs> You really think I'm a genius? Dude, yeah, I'm Double D, I'm the genius. I am caused discomfort because I'm Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Rolf has never been so confused. <laughs> Come on, Double D, I don't say gravy all the time. Toast is so crude as the crust always gets stuck in my gap. Oh, <laughs> roasted. <laughs> Greetings, Kevin. A pleasure to look at you. May I inspect your nostrils? Get lost, dork. Oh, gosh. Intriguing. Your ape-like qualities ensure your smartness. Let's examine your brain. Oh, no. <gasps> what? You're me, dork. Ed. Oh, no. Sarah? Sarah? Ed. 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 Sarah. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Love that to clean your rope. What a tree sap. <laughs> oh, I guess, Ed. It's a dare, Johnny. So buzz up, Melonhead. <laughs> Been there, done that. Clyde says he'll give you a quarter if you do a dare. Bring it on. I'll do anything for cash, because I'm short. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll be back in five minutes, because Mom said I could. Screw you. Deception certainly is excruciating. <laughs> oh, what the Don't hell? Inhumanity. <laughs> what the? What in heaven's name is this? Is that gravy? A ladle? It's a tub of gravy! Yeah! Get out of Double D's house! <laughs> Open this door! Oh gosh. Sucker! I'm gonna count to three! Don't bust an artery, Einstein! You have invaded my personal space. Do not touch anything and leave via the designated exit. Oh no. 
you can count on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Pain. Boy, Eddie, we can't tell back truth to anyone now, can we? Right, Ed? Whoops. <laughs> I mean, Frank. What? <laughs> What's that, Eddie? What a potty mouth. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was episode 11 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie season 2, and once again, another great episode, and the streak continues, but like, hands down, probably the best segment and best episode of the whole season so far is Mirror, Mirror on the Ed. I mean, that's probably the hardest I've ever laughed from watching this show. I mean, it almost killed me. I mean, seeing how the Eds were, you know, imitating each other all because of a dare, I mean, that that's just golden right there. I mean, come on, you can't get any funnier than that, believe me. But yeah, I wouldn't call this the best episode of the show yet, because, you know, we're still very early and there's still a lot more show left to watch. But other than that, like I said, great episode. Nothing more to say. If you guys did enjoy this episode too, and you want to see more Ed, Ed, and Eddie reactions on my channel, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons and comment down below what you thought of this episode. And, like I said about my Patreon page, if you want to watch my full-length reactions to Ed, Ed, and Eddie there, then please click the link in the description below and become a member today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.